My name is uh, David Anderson. I used to work at TTP and I'm retired now. I help out a couple afternoons a week here at the school in, in Orwell. I used to do a lot of software for TTP. And so my background is right up this street, really. My wife teaches here, so I was very familiar that the curriculum had changed so that they were moving from teaching how to use a computer to actually how to make the computer do something. There's a number of the technologies and packages you can use on a computer itself. But I also came across uh, the idea of using Lego, which actually fits with what TTP does, because instead of doing a sort of IT application that sits on a computer, what this does is allow you to program something with sensors and motors that behaves in the real world. We've been really lucky because David Anderson has been able to come and work throughout the school with lots of different classes, helping us with uh, programming, uh, with Lego programming. What we did today was what I would call a light challenge, so where we gave them some instructions to start with and then they took it from there. So I didn't tell them how to program it and make it do what they were doing. Some of the ideas they came up with are just great because they're so comfortable with the idea of building something at Lego, building a program that they can think about other things and, oh, hey, you could do that. I think the way the children go about it is very different to how adults go about it. They'll suddenly come up and say, oh, I found a shortcut, and adults might take a little bit longer. The children get it quite quickly, and they're a lot more um, computer savvy these days, especially most of the children have iPads or tablets, so they're, they're very familiar with a lot of the software that, that we're using, so they're able to pick up the skills needed very, very quickly. It uh, doesn't feel like a proper lesson, it feels like a really cool like free time bit because you get to design and make and customise so you're not pe being put on or you've got a bit of instructions but after you've made it and done it you can program it to do anything you want so it's better because you can more do it yourself. That playfulness transfers to the programming side as well so they've got no uh, hesitation about diving into the programming, trying something, if that doesn't work, just like you would take Lego to bits. They take the program to bits, put it back together again. When I break it, yeah. or something happens, like it breaks, we sort of like try a different program or something, and then try and like put different parts on to try and make it like better. We have to check around the, like the thing, so see if it got too much weight, or is it got like, if the hub is out of battery or something like that. Well, I go back, we add some stuff on or take some stuff off. And I would change the things that would make it move. So, say I had a start, a move, and then some wait three seconds and move. I would probably take the wait three seconds out and put a turn thing so it would make it go like that and make it just go like that. Since the new curriculum came into force, there's a much more focus on computing and programming rather than sort of ICT secretarial skills. This is a really important change. Schools are now having to teach coding and be confident to teach that. I think it's really important that schools have the resources needed to teach this effectively and we've been really lucky that TTP have been able to supply us with this Lego programming because it gives us the confidence as teachers, as educators, to be able to show the children and demonstrate and teach them how to actively use programming and coding skills in a way which is exciting and fun and accessible to them.